Oh no, Cube! There's a whole row of characters from old horror media! Look! There's Edward Woodward in that punch disguise from the end of The Wicker Man, and there's that faceless guy from Sapphire and Steel and the Spirit of Dark and Lonely Water, and even that weird devil thing from Pender's Fen that, you know, was in that animated gif everyone used about ten years ago where it's hanging over a bed and being scary. What are we gonna do? Oh, Cube, you know what this isn't? Good. Exactly. But wait, I might have a plan. Yes, by wearing these more horror-centric coloured clothes, we can walk past them undetected. We made it, Cube! Good. And you didn't have to record any extra voiceover. Good. Boom. That was a jump scare. Do you know what I worked out this week? Something truly scary. I've been putting items on this sofa and recording it, and then showing it to people on the internet, for nearly 18 years. 18 years. That's probably longer than some people watching this video have been alive, which is mildly terrifying. Uh, yeah, 2006 I started, which uh, I think if I remember correctly was the year that Google actually purchased YouTube. So that's a while ago now, isn't it? <clears throat> Same year that Casino Royale came out in fact, so therefore the year that Daniel Craig started being James Bond. Somehow that uh, makes it feel even longer, blimey. Anyway, I thought it was time to get around to fulfilling one of my ambitions. One of them was to make a comedy feature film, and we've done that twice now. Now it is time to move on to my bigger cinematic obsession of horror films. Yep, as many of you will know, I bloody love horror films, especially any with like a properly creepy atmosphere. Psychological horror, ghost stories, bloody love them. And the success of our last two films has kind of made me think it's about time to see if we can pull off the horror film. But I only wanted to do it if I was sure we had a jaw-droppingly great idea that would totally blow the audience away. And yes, we've now found that idea. This is Turn Back, our new horror film, and we need your help to make it. So just to clear this up off the bat, although there'll likely be some funny bits, this is not a comedy, and it's not a sequel to our other films, it will be a proper atmospheric, scary and creepy movie that we think you'll love just as much. And now I know that not everyone likes scary movies, but it won't have loads of graphic violence for the sake of it. Basically, it's going to be a really well thought through story that we think will appeal to most of you. So, what's it about then? Well, I don't really want to give away too much about the plot and stuff, because it'll totally spoil it, but... Right, look, <clears throat> here in the east of England, where I was brought up and where I still live, there is a bit of folklore that dates all the way back to the 12th century about black Shook. Now, Black Shook is basically a kind of huge ghostly devil dog thingy that haunts the countryside and once attacked a church. And in some versions of the tale, seeing it can be an ill omen. An omen of death, which is quite obviously a very bad thing. So, Turn Back will feature Black Shook in some way, shape or form. It's not going to be a big dog that runs around biting people. We're going to take a slightly different approach to that. But I ain't spoiling anything at this stage. Oh, and there's something else I should tell you while we're here. We're doing the whole thing backwards! I mean like telling a reverse narrative, basically. So the final scene of the film will be the first one you actually see, and then as the film progresses you see further and further back in time, eventually filling in all the pieces of the narrative that you're missing. Yeah, you see? You see? It's, it's very difficult to write that, but we're so excited about the idea. We are totally, totally doing it. Other films have done similar things. Uh, Memento, there's one element of it in 500 Days of Summer, and Irreversible is quite a pure example of a reverse narrative, but uh, yeah, quite a difficult watch, that film. Uh, I don't think anyone's done it quite the way we're planning to do it, though. Ultimately, what I really want is for people to get to the end of the film and then keep thinking about it for a while afterwards. I want to make a spooky film that stays with you. Anyway, that's the short of it, folks. A modern horror film inspired by an old legend with a folk horror vibe. And of course, as well everybody is aware, films cost a lot of bloody money to make, and frequently don't make a lot of money. The reality is, it's only going to happen if you help to make it happen. So today, we're launching a Kickstarter to try and make Turn Back a reality, and I really hope you'll go and check it out. We're throwing everything at this and have spent literally months working on perks. I mean, obviously, if you back something, you'll want something in return. It's fair enough, isn't it? So, what have we got? Action figure set. You know, like at the start of the video. So, when I was asking people about things they wanted, one of the answers was basically action figures again, but not the same action figures, but not different action figures. And so, repaints. We've gone for a sort of horror vibe here with Ashens in a very dark suit with a burgundy shirt, which also, of course, uh, does sort of hint at the Ashens logo with the red inside the black. Yeah, you see, you see. So the more I look at this, the more I think I might make the 
actual uh, red shirt a little bit brighter for the final product. Anyway, that's not relevant because it's uh, the Mighty Cube with one of his hideous jumpers, except the hideous jumper is now showing an image of Black Shook. Ooh. Incidentally, Cube's actor Daniel Hardcastle will be in Turn Back, along with some other faces from Polybius Heist. Check the Kickstarter page for details on that. So these figures are fully articulated and all that. I'm not going to move the arms and legs on these because these are painted mock-ups and all the paint will fall off them. These are limited edition, by the way. We're only having one factory run of these for this campaign, and then that will be the end of them forever. And if you want to know what the packaging looks like, it might look a little bit of something like this. Oh no, Cube! You've been touched by heavy metal album cover Satan and turned into some sort of demonic creature! Oh, how do you feel? Bad. And those figures will come with something very special indeed. For you see, for many years, people have been asking me for VHS copies of our films to put on their shelves. And I think they've been literally on their shelves, because who's going to play a VHS tape these days? Nobody has a VHS player, and even if the tapes existed, like you couldn't play ones that worked in the UK, in America, and vice versa because of PAL NTSC stuff, and don't even get me started on CCAM. And so, we have come up with a solution. Please be presenting the Ashens Movie Collection VHS box set. Oh yeah, <laughs> we have gone super old school with this packaging. It looks like something your dad taped off the telly in 1991, or maybe even earlier. Yeah, I mean, this is a mock-up obviously, but you get the idea. Or have you got all the idea yet? Because, hey, yes indeed. <laughs> Look at that. So the idea is, this will actually contain three Blu-rays. Yes, I know there's only two discs in there at the moment. This is illustrative. And they will have these films on them. Ashens and the Quest for the Game Child. Ashens and the Polybius Heist. And of course, Turn Back. And they will be on the discs in their original high-def format in order to uh, look good on your expensive television and impress the grandparents, but also included will be reverse processed analog tape versions, which is a posh way of saying we're going to record them onto VHS and re-digitize them. So you can have an actual VHS watching experience. We're not just slapping some filter on them and going, oh, it looks a bit like VHS, isn't it? No, no, we are doing the proper thing. And yes, they will be in widescreen. We're not doing pan scan. We wouldn't do that to you. Now, as you may have guessed, these are horribly expensive to make, so please do buy them. And we are packaging them together in what we are calling the Retro Movie Collection. We're also throwing in a bunch of downloadable add-ons to sweeten the deal. Our feature-length Polybius Fly on the Wall documentary, available as a download for the first time. And the anti-Snyder Cut Extended Edition of Polybius Heist, a comically overlong edit of the film where we literally put in all the footage we shot, pacing be damned. Please don't watch that version until you've seen the original theatrical edit. And our multi-award winning short film, Another Game. In total, it'll be around 12 hours of material and the downloads will be available almost as soon as the campaign ends. Obviously the box set won't be ready until Turn Back is complete because, you know, reasons of linear time. But seriously, folks, we are so proud of these. It's been a huge task putting these together, but hopefully you will love them as much as I do. Mm. And we're only ever going to be able to make these once for, yeah, fairly apparent reasons. So if this is your kind of thing, this will be your only chance. Do go check them out. Sofa slicers. Yes, actually certified pieces of the brown sofa, i.e. literally this. All the material from the back of it and from the back of various other pieces which are now no longer with us. So these are extremely limited because, I'll be honest with you here, our entire supply of them is made up of ones which I made in case the ones we sold through the Polybius campaign didn't arrive because there were problems with the post around that time. These are being sold as a side perk without any other bits of the campaign because we can send them out shortly after the Kickstarter ends. Obviously we don't have to wait for the films we made to send these because they've already gone. You know how some people stick video games and action figures in like acrylic boxes and seal them up and then basically destroy what they are in the hopes of being able to sell them for more money down the line? Well, wait for it! <gasps> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it's an acrylic boxed collectible game child! And by collectible I mean it will never be worth anything. Yes, we've put stickers on them like those other people do, but we can guarantee you this will never be worth anything. So we're not just selling the joy of a beautiful collectible, we're selling the guarantee of worthlessness. Hell, 
You even get a certificate of inauthenticity with it, signed by me and somebody else. What more could you ask for? Seriously, if you want one of these, uh, don't hang around, because A, they're getting more and more rare, and B, as a result of that, we only have six. <laughs> Literally, we only have six. And that's not all! There's also a set of special collectibles, including an art print by Rebecca Morn, a prop replica from the film, and a set of pin badges. There's an Ashen's mystery box. Yes, I will actually make you a bespoke mystery box of very disappointing items. <clears throat> that can be sent before the end of the year, incidentally, because that uh, is a side perk which does not involve the film directly. And there's even a way to get me to review your tat on this very sofa and have it featured in a YouTube video. Look, there's loads more as well. Go take a look for yourself. I'm sure there'll be something you'll be interested in. And finally, thank you. Seriously, thank you for supporting me for so many years. This is the biggest and boldest thing I've ever tried, and I'm very excited and nervous about it. So please, if you can, have a look at the Kickstarter. The link will be below. There's perks you can pick out. You can tell your friends about the movie. And overall, help this film become a reality. Thanks, folks. Thank <laughs> you.